Hi friends, welcome once again in another problem of coordinate geometry related to distance formula. The question is saying so that the uh, points 1, minus 1, 5, comma 2 and 9, comma 5 are collinear points. So before uh, proceeding the problem, we should know what is collinear points, right? What are called collinear points? Uh, friends, those points are called collinear points which comes under the same line, right? See, co, co means together, linear means a line, right? Together in a line, together in a line, okay? Those points are called collinear. Suppose this is a line, okay? Mm, it's not perfect, okay, fine. This is a line this is called AB now this is point P this is point Q right this is point R so here P Q R suppose here T as here P Q R as T these all points are called collinear because these all points come under the same line right under the same line AB right so that is why these are called these P Q R S T. These all points are called collinear, right? So, how to prove these all? That is also another problem. That how can we prove these all points are collinear? So here we are given three points. So let me draw. Uh, yeah, this is a line. Suppose this is a first point P. That's this one minus one. Uh, another problem suppose Q that is uh, another line uh, point that's uh, Q 5 2 and that is R suppose 9 5 if it is like this right P Q R like this then we can say these are collinear or it may be like this see Q that is 5 2 or P that is 1 minus 1 or R suppose this point is R 9 5 okay another uh, another situation it may be like this right first it may come r right like this 9 5 and then p right uh, 1 minus 1 and then q like this uh, q that is 5 2 right these three other situations to become the line uh, uh, to become the uh, points p q r calling right in every case is just see my friend mm, let me change the color right in every case is when you add PQ and QR what happened here PQ right PQ plus QR right this PQ plus QR PQ plus QR gives you the line PR right PR in this figure also when you add QP line and QR line uh, sorry PR line PQ line, I mean Q, uh, QP line, and then PR line. PR line. It gives you the QR, right? QR. Here also, if you add RP or PR and PQ, right? Again, you can say QP or RP, right? RP. It will give you RQ, or you can say simply QR, right? RQ. So, these are the fundamental conditions right to become these three points collinear right means the sum of the two sides must be equal to the third side right if sum of the two sides right sum of the two sides right are equal to the third side then these point these three points are collinear otherwise these are not collinears right if these are not collinear uh, it will be like this right see suppose it is p it is q and it is r so it will be like this and it it gonna form a triangle right and you know the properties of triangle that third side is always uh, means the sum of the two sides right simply suppose you add this side and this side it will be always and always greater than the third side right the sum of the two sides right in length is always and always greater than the third side it means if you add this uh, and this and if it becomes greater than PR it means they are not collinear right if you uh, in this also if you add QP and PR if it becomes less or greater than QR then it cannot form the uh, it, it cannot be the collinear points it gonna form a yeah triangle so here also 
the same conditions so now let's go find out see whether uh, these three conditions uh, becomes true or not if they becomes true then of course they are the collinear and otherwise they are not collinear okay so let me uh, do one by one uh, okay uh, uh, we can draw a rough figure also let, let me first draw a rough figure okay suppose this is X right uh, and this is Y this is O right so one two three four five six one two three four one two three four five six right one two fine okay first one is P that is one minus one one minus one so this is point P right one minus one point Q is nine five okay one two three four five six right seven eight nine and one two three four five it will be around here right and another is p and q and r is five two again one two three four five and two one two right here they looks almost like uh, that they will fall under the same line uh, but let's see but we have to show that suppose this is p and this is q right uh, five two and this is r uh, 9 5 sorry it's 9 5 if the sum of PQ and QR are yeah sum of PQ and QR is equals to whole line PR then this line will be calling it right so now let's find out the distances all the distances okay let me find out first PQ right so PQ equals to again yeah 5 minus 1 whole square plus 2 minus minus it will be plus right plus 1 whole square I think you know the formula this distance formula is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square right this formula I'm using here I'm supposing this as x2 y2 so x2 minus x1 means 5 minus 1 and y2 minus y1 right so y2 2 minus minus 1 so minus minus becomes plus right because 2 minus minus 1 it becomes 2 plus 1 right here and let me proceed this 5 minus 1 that is uh, 4 square right it is 4 square and again 2 plus 1 that, that is 3 square right so now it is 4 square that is 16 and 3 square that is 9 it is 25 right root over 25 it means it is 5 unit right we got the value of PQ that is 5 unit another let's find out PQ now QR okay QR QR again uh, I'm supposing this as a now x2 y2 and this as x1 y1 so it will be 9 minus 5 difference of x coordinate right whole square and again difference of y coordinate that is 5 minus 2 5 minus 2 whole square right so it will be 9 minus 5 it means 4 square again and 5 minus 2 again it is 3 square and we have just solved the five, 4 square plus 3 square so it is going to be 5 unit right we recently had find out here right so we got the two points 5 5 unit and let's find out the another one the last one that is PR let's find out PR what is PR PR now see uh, I am supposing here as this as x1 y1 and this as x2 y2 so difference of x coordinate will be 9 minus 1 whole square and difference of y coordinate will be 5 minus 5 minus minus 1 so it will be plus right so how I'm saying says here 5 minus minus 1 right so minus minus 5 plus 1 it will be that is why here 5 plus 1 whole square right so now it's 9 minus 1 right so 9 minus 1 equals to 8 square plus 5 plus 1 it's 6 square right and 8 square it is 64 6 square it is 36 right if you add 64 and 36 it will be uh, let me 100 right 100 right so root over 100 it is 10 unit okay we got the value see 5 5 and then 10 if you add 5 and 10, 5 it will be 10 Mid, it means see here we added PQ and QR means this is 5 unit right let me do with another color they are collinear see this is 5 unit right 
Oh, it's not bright. Yeah, we got this 5 unit, right? PQ is 5 unit and QR is also 5 unit. This QR is also 5 unit. And when we take out this whole PR, we got this 10 unit. It means what we got this? Means PQ plus QR. PQ plus QR. See, PQ plus QR is equals to PR. This value we got. This value we got, right? So we can say that now. Since right, uh, finally, what we can say? Yeah, we can simply say that since PQ and QR, since right, since PQ plus QR is equals to PR, these points are these points are collinear. These points are collinear. Okay. Yeah, like this we have to prove. Okay. Uh, uh, I'll uh, pre uh, uh, if you're uh, let me tell you if you're watching this through the YouTube or uh, other sites then please uh, go to the website my website that is a skying blogger s k y skying blogger blogger dot com right s k y n g b l o g g e r dot com here i have uh, put lots of exercises related to this collinear right related to this collinear problem that will make you strong in this uh, concept okay so i would prefer uh, means i i want to suggest you to go there and please uh, visit and try to solve those all problems you'll be really good in this chapter okay bye bye we'll be meeting in next video bye